we made some decent progress on the trophy car. The seat mounted, got our pan hard bar mounted, figured out what we're going to do for the cooling system. But we're still waiting on parts out here, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> but there is one very important thing that we have to do. So when we had our meetup, when we had Redbeard's Garage here, Junkyard Digs, and rather be welding over a few weeks ago, uh, I broke... Uh, our track record on Rather Be Welding's Grave Ninja 650. That thing is bad to the bone, it's very fast. But one thing to note is that our track has had some modifications since we've driven the previous record holder on the track. Uh, it's about four seconds faster, I'd estimate. Basically, the river crossing has been concreted, so you don't have to slow to a creep and just kind of creep over it and then keep going. You can kind of carry it with some speed. With that being said, I'm going to try for a new track record. Ready? Are you ready? Yep. Are you marked? Get set. Go. Man, my pants are stuck on the steering. That is not good. It's a safety problem right there. That doesn't count as a crash either, guys. I'm gonna say the go-kart died. Cause uh, he ain't beating the time like that. I don't know what happened, but uh, I'm gonna have to go check on John, so. To be continued. Just a little too eager to take back the track record. See, that does not count as a crash. I did not come into contact with that tree. I'm running out of gas. Oh my god. We're both stranded. Not a wreck. Oh, you ran out of gas. I ran out of gas. I did not crash. Uh, <laughs> it just went in a hole and died. <laughs> Dude, you are cooking it too. Little too eager to beat that record. Ooh, you come in hot. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a close one, man. Did you uh did you poop yourself? Yeah, I thought I was gonna give that tree a love tap. Yeah. But I wasn't going so fast, it wasn't a big deal. Just uh you know what I noticed? What? Ever since we put those awesome rear tires on it, mm -hmm. the thing plows a lot. Yeah, it's because the front tires need some awesome tires yeah, on them, Yeah, the fronts too. are turfs, and the rears are grip. So, and the, the rears are looking a little uh, bald themselves. Yeah. So, anyway, here, let's try to fire it up. All right. I'm not sure. Tell me why it's not running. I was right on this one. All right, so you're out of gas. And you're out of gas. I'm out of gas. Let's start walking. Yeah, I don't know guys, that's not a wreck. I missed the tree. What's up man? Anybody call for help? Yes I did. Might as well fill that bad boy up. Man, if we want a better time, we should put some nitroglycerin in the hole. That ought to do, buddy. All right. I'd have a couple hundred laps in it now. Well, we I hope. Don't know about that. We hope. Let's try this again, man. Let's try it again. 24 minutes is not going to beat this. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you marked? Get set, go! Oh, I wrecked it good this time. What do you do? That's very broken. You are. Right? Wonder what I hit. I found 
the closest tree in this little patch of woods I've been getting closer and closer to. Well, you tore it up. Oh, I tore it up bad. You bent the rim and everything. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, I did. All right. Well, well, sorry, bud. I'm glad you're okay, dude. You scared the... I'm sure I did. You scared me bad. Hey, the cage works. It was pretty graceful, man. It didn't... I'm just chilling. I don't all right. feel hurt at all. This is the worst one yet. Oh, definitely. Yeah, all right. Dang, I'm glad you're okay. Appreciate it. What did I hit? Some kind of tree in there, I'm guessing? Uh, right here? I'm guessing. You hit a, uh, well, it's a evergreen. I don't know what kind it is, but uh, yeah, it looks like you clipped it with the front wheel and it spun you around. There are good days in racing, there are bad days in racing. Ricky Bobby just had himself a bad day. Glad you're all right, dude. Me Holy too. cow. All right, dude. Well, I guess it's time to get the tractor. Oh, you broke the tie rod in? Oh, yeah. So now we have two vehicles we need to finish. Well, probably three if you count the, uh, this one, the Bronco. This one can be uh, on the back burner for a while, man. Yeah, we've been meaning to put front suspension on this thing, and we keep patching it. So this one might need to park until we can get to that new front suspension we've been talking about. Let me try to get out of this thing. Where's that? Ooh! I don't know how that happened. Yeah, that's a tree down there right there. It had to have been uh, pretty jolty because you're only about six foot from what you hit and you're turned around 180. 180 degrees. Yeah. So it had to have been, you, you were cooking coming through here, weren't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was going to be so, an awesome lap. So, <laughs> so uh, it was a pretty good jolt. So our uh, harness worked good and our roll cage worked good. Yeah. And uh, my one complaint. Yeah. This steering box right here. Uh huh. Or at least the position of it is not quite ideal. Uh huh. I jammed the side of my foot on it. That it doesn't even hurt anymore. Um, and my pants legs get caught in this sometimes, which is not good. Oh, but I've never, I've never had that problem. Really? Yeah. That's because you wear shorts here around. <laughs> but my foot doesn't. No, I know. Yeah. So, um, all right. All right. We will rebuild. Ike took it upon himself to go out and fix the cross car this morning, so thanks for doing that. Hopefully I can get one more lap in and we can beat the uh, track record. Uh, but I'm here to remind you that there are just three days left to enter our Tillotson 212 and Performance Package giveaway from GoPowerSports.com. All you need to do to enter is go to our website, cars-cameras.com, and buy a piece of our merchandise, one of our new pocket tees right here, uh, one of our hats, one of our stickers, anything on the website will get you automatically entered. It ends this Wednesday at midnight, Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to enter, you better go ahead and do it now. The Tillotson 212 is sold out pretty much everywhere these days. They are awesome engines for your go-kart and minibike, your drift trike, your motorized cooler, kind of anything under the sun. They're awesome engines, performance, 10 horsepower right out of the box. So go ahead and pick up some merchandise if you want to enter this giveaway. Help support us, uh, get entered to win an awesome engine as well. All right, let's go out and hit another lap. Are you ready for this, bud? I hope so, man. It's gone downhill, wrecked it, bent the upper control arm, steering wheel's not straight anymore, rear brakes are completely gone. Yeah, I'm ready to set a track record. All right, sounds good. Don't let her fall. All right, are you ready? Yep. Are you marked? Get set, go! I'm a little worried that... Boy, he's getting on it. I'm a little worried that the lack of a little bit of rear brakes might, uh, hurt the time.
I'm not sure what the lap record was, but we are at 57.26. Little scary, bud. How's that? All right, what was the record? 57 something. I don't think that broke it. If we were to have broke it, yeah, just by a second, would you be fine with it? Oh yeah. All right, we got a low 57 here. Okay. 57.26. Let's see if that broke it. This is you one sick puppy, man. You wait right there. I'm gonna go check. All right, this thing is hurt. No, no way. Oh my gosh. Um. Um. Okay. I'd I'd be fine with that. Tell you the truth, I'd be fine with it. So, uh, it's a sick puppy, huh? Yeah. What's the problem? Oh, dude, um, just, you know, we got tires that are bald. We got more aggressive tires on the rear than on the front. So all it wants to do is understeer uh -huh. and then snap over steer. Um, bent control arm. I noticed it was smoking a whole lot when I came in. Yeah, it's not looking too good, dude. Yeah, we just really beat the crap out of this thing over the past year. So did I beat it? No. You did not. Okay. But you tied it. Seriously? 57.26 and 57.26. You've got to be kidding. I am not kidding. That's awesome. Uh, this has another couple seconds in it easy, man. I'll, I'll, I'll do another one if she'll hold together. Really? Yeah. I heard you hit that rock over there. Did you hit that rock? A little bit. Yeah, I thought that I heard that. Yeah. Uh, you want me to get the 360 going again? Yeah. So you're going again? Yeah, man. Not happy with the tie. All right, buddy, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you marked? Get set, go! Oh, I didn't see it. He ain't cutting that thing any slack, guys. Which I gotta tell you, he wasn't cutting that Grave Ninja any slack either. Four, fifty-five, fifty-six. He got it. He got it. Uh, you busted something. Oh yeah. The oil pan's busted. Oil pan is busted. Oil pan's busted. This thing is done, so it is draining oil all over the ground. You bottomed it out on that rock, I'm guessing. I beat the lap though, didn't I? Your time. Yeah. Was a five yeah six okay five six all right so we beat it by over a half a second less than a half a second wow she's uh see a nice little trail yeah all right well, let's go check it out check it out there's a hole in the oil pan well i want to see where exactly i hit it all right well uh i'm gonna say congratulations buddy and also congratulations on busting it yeah again so you know how you're usually the one that wrecks and breaks yeah this week it's been me yes and i took the cake i think i think you really took the cake dude <sighs> it's not good coming around this corner some seeing some oil still Here's where it starts. That's the aluminum oil pan or block. Well, that is a new rock. Dang. You know, when we were first building it, I was worried about that. It just being a little too low. A little too low. I'm legitly upset. So, does anyone know where we could get a GSXR 600? Or cheap so you'd rather uh, let us know in the comments <laughs> so we want to uh, upgrade the engine yeah man I'm ready for fuel injection bud really I think so as long as it'll still fit in there as long as it'll fit all right I'm sorry man 
I mean, it is what it is. It just happens. It happens. Broke the record, though. So, there's a river crossing. Come around here. And it was this pile of rocks that's been giving us problems. But today, that one there finally did it. Ever since Ike launched the nose of the cross cart off of this rock here, I always avoid it. So the center of the vehicle was right around here. Just coming in hot, I'm guessing front wheels probably hit this little hump. Got a bump up, and the rear end kind of sagged down just enough to puncture the oil pan. Wait, no oil pan on it. It's the block. The engine block. You broke the block, dude. So the question now is, do we get out the JB weld and try to fix it? Or do we just replace the engine? I think we need to check out the damage before we make a call. I agree. I what, mean, what? I think you're a lot more upset than I am. This just means we can put a GSXR engine on it now. I mean, yeah. As soon as we find one. As soon as we find one. Which, let us know in the comments. Guys. Yeah. The John and Isaac Fabrication Shop. He builds them, I break them. You know, the drain plug might be directly on the bottom. Yeah. Might have snapped it whole, all the way off. I need to get a jack. Nope, there's the drain plug, and it looks like it's pushed into the block. Mm. That is not going to be a simple fix. Since John broke it, he's got to uh, jack it up. Not something duct tape can fix. Definitely not. It's got a big old split. Wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, at least I put on a good show. Uh, we'll, uh... It's very broken, buddy. Like, we can't just plug it up with a block putty. No. That I, was a question. Our best bet is probably... Replace the engine? Are you sure you can't take this thing off? Let me look. I mean, there are, like, a ton of bolts. It Let looks me... like a car oil pan under here. Well, that would be awesome if it was. Let me look. Oh, yeah. All right. This is way different than I thought it was going to be. So, it looks like if we find an oil pan, we can fix this one. But hey. at the same time, do you want to keep your eye out for something else? Yeah. I, I say we keep our eyes open for a newer, more powerful engine. All right. I think the chassis can handle it. And then we can uh, put a bigger engine on it, redo our front suspension like we've been talking about, going with bigger tires all the way around. Yeah. Kind of going beast mode. All right, sounds good. But, yeah, I, I mean, we should get a new oil pan for this thing. Keep our eyes open for one, too. Yeah, I mean, we got to run an engine here, so... This went from totaled to... Eh. To, yeah. <laughs> major bummer, but not a complete goner yeah let's let's just price out the oil pan and see what we get yeah and i mean even if the engine was completely total the front end useless like there's still a lot of time in this chassis and the chassis itself is still fine yes i agree and the rear suspension works pretty good too not too bad all right well let's uh hit the uh interwebs and look for an oil pan sounds like a plan cross card is dead thanks Long live the cross cart. We're gonna get online. And look for an oil pan, look for engines. Start gathering parts so we can rebuild it. Maybe this winter, maybe next spring. I've already looked online, dude. Yep. In the 20 to $30 range for that oil pan. Sweet. Yep. So we just need to buy one. Yeah, but I think it wouldn't hurt to look out for another engine too yeah 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 i said we buy the oil pan we keep our eyes open for a new engine yeah. and then we just plan on fixing it in the spring and if we find an engine in the meantime that we want to throw on it perfect yep we just do that yep so anyway thanks for watching this video guys it was pretty painful for me i hope you enjoyed it for your entertainment leave a thumbs up subscribe facebook instagram cars and cameras reviews Visit our website and help support us by picking up a uh, piece of merchandise from us, cars-cameras.com. Help us afford a GSXR engine, because that's what I want.
Really? Dude, that GoPro is still making noise? I guess. Alright. I told you you pissed off the cross cart. Catch you next time. It's weird. Oil pan is busted? Oil pan's busted. This thing is done, though.